Good morning, good morning everyone. Today is Sunday, January 31st, and I hope all is well with you. I hope you had a good week. I had a bit of a rough week, to be honest, um, but I uh, am here, and uh, my Cody, I can't wait to meet you. Hi, Cody. Um, so anyways, I'm distracted now. Okay, all right. Um, today is called Peace Be Still. Now is the time more than ever for us to make sure that we are at peace. There is so much stuff going on right now. So much stuff. And, and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. Um, before we were polarized, you either... Uh, are in the R party or you're in the D party. Now it's like two different dualities, like two different, two different realities. Uh, it's gotten even more extreme where um, everyone's got their own mindset of reality. And it's... Um, disheartening to me to see how um, ununited and how disconnected we all are from each other. So um, we, a lot of people I've been talking to have been concerned about what's going to happen, what's going to happen, you know, um, having a hard time, a lot of depression, as you know, with the lockdowns, a lot of mental health is uh, impacted because of this. And um, it reminded me of a story in the Bible where Jesus had just had a long day. At this point in his life, he was very much in demand. And he, Cody, you make me smile. And he was... Um, tired. He had been talking all day long. He was exhausted and he's they his uh disciples, his crew said, "Let's go across the lake and find a peaceful spot where we can rest." So they hopped on the boat. They were going across the uh sea, the Sea of Galilee, which is still there. And all of a sudden, a really wicked windstorm came up. And the boat was rocking so hard from the water that they were taking water on the boat. And the guys on the boat were like totally freaking out. And what was Jesus doing? He was sleeping. He was sleeping. And they woke him up. They're shaking and waking him up. Master, master, we're going to die. We're going to die. There's water on the boat. Oh, my God. Help. Ah! And that is exactly where a lot of people are right now. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's going to happen? That's exactly where we're at right now. And all he did, Jesus stood up and he said three words. Three words. Peace, be still. And the winds calmed down the water calmed down because at this point there was a lot of water inside the boat and the men on the that were on the boat with him were like whoa who is this guy that he could do this now you think he would have known they would have known better by then and we have a lot of angels among us that we don't even realize a lot of powerhouses are among us that we don't even realize so the first main thing is peace be still during this time of unsettledness and we don't know what's going to happen the truth of the matter is we never did know what was going to happen we thought we knew but we really didn't we have awareness now okay this period of time is called the great awakening and um so the solution is to embrace the term right now that's called Christ consciousness. Now, don't be uh, turned off by the woo-woo kinds of labeling. 
Uh, what Christ consciousness means is that our higher self is part of the entire universe. What is our higher self? Our higher self is when you are being smart and you're making good decisions, um, when you are operating under the 5D consciousness, and I'm going to share that with you. This is the solution for your own peace be still, okay? Think in terms of unity, aligning with the divine. Again, imagine an um, accord between you and creator, God. And when you have a decision to make, think in your head. What would God tell me to do? And listen, and you're going to get an answer. That's the exciting part. You will always get an answer. Okay? Any question in, any question in life, that's all you got to do. You don't have to buy a million books. Just ask, what should I do? And the answer will come to you. How awesome is that? That the Creator, God, knows where you're at, what you're experiencing, how you're feeling right now. And he's by your side right now. Peace be still. So focus on unity, aligning with the divine, service to others, love everyone, forgive everyone. Okay? Love, ev that's all you got to do. Unity, align with the divine, service to others, love everyone, forgive everyone. And in this time, I've really been worried about my kids. Like you think about your kids and you think how much do, uh, well, how, how responsible are kids? And um, Cody's a teenager and you think, well, what about teens? What about kids? The minute that you know right from wrong is the minute you become responsible to make the right decisions. If it's a seven-year-old, whatever, that is when you become responsible for your own self and the decisions that you made. If you were mean to someone, you knew it. If you were loving to someone, you knew it. Okay? So during this time right now where we don't know what's going to go on, we're going to have a rocky next few weeks, peace be still. I am here for you. In the meantime, if there's anything I can do for you, please reach out to me. Send me a message. And um, I am here for you. Okay? Take care. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you next Sunday.